Here are two identical tuning forks, both marked 288 Hz D. If I sound them together and you listen, you can hear that they're making the same note. They're in agreement. But what if I put one in ice and the other in a flame? I'll tell you in a minute. These two tuning forks are not in agreement. This one has a little extra mass so that it lowers the frequency slightly. Now if I sound them together, you'll hear them interfering. You can see the effect on an oscilloscope. Now that the forks are ready, let's have a listen. First to the cold, and then to the hot. And then together. Can you hear the interference? When two frequencies are very close together, they add rhythmically, both constructively and destructively. The result is called beats. Beats, a rhythmic interference of close frequencies. Quiet, loud, quiet, loud. Well, 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 well. When people tune pianos, they often listen for beats as the notes get closer and closer. Beats aren't just about sound waves. They explain why ocean waves seem to come in sets. Surfers notice that waves come in sets. That is, small waves, then big waves, then small waves, and so on. Now that's a wave interference phenomenon. Sets are a type of beats. So watch out for beats. Beats. 